Welcome back to another Mugen Arcade Mode request here on Season 16 of my Mugen Match. We're almost done. We just got five characters left. But, but, I'm recording this the day of the first upload when Putty got uploaded. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. The way I do bonus characters. Sometimes I will pick a random bonus character from the comments or from Twitter. So there may be some bonus videos. The most I usually do is about five or six. Excuse me. But um, don't get too excited. If I pick your character for the bonus batch, great. If you don't see your character up here, you either didn't give me the author, a download, or they may be a part of next season, whenever that may be in 2024, because like I said, this season is the last season for 2023. Anyway, we're now on to one of my favorite Pixar characters, Mr. Incredible. This is a Marvel vs. Capcom style edit of Mr. Incredible, the original one. By, I think it's... Is it Warner? Did Warner do the Incredibles? I think he did. This one adds voice... Like, adds voices to him. Sounds nothing like Mr. Incredible. Craig T. Nielsen. Sounds nothing like him. Let's go. Yo, Garlic Jr., and, uh, yeah, as you saw with that uh, character portrait, it's a really nice green outline. <laughs> but, um, no, nah, no. Nah. I know how tough that is to do, so. But, um, he's supposed to be like a dial a combo character, but it feels like he really doesn't dial any combos here. Sometimes. But, um, the problem with a bunch of Marvel vs. Capcom style characters. Is that they just they're just too like buggy for the Mugen. And um that's that's all I could say. They're, like a bunch of Marvel vs. Capcom style characters are just way too buggy for Mugen. Why did that cost two bars a meter? Especially edited ones. Let's see. But um I'll, I'll play a Marvel vs. Capcom style character any day that that's supposed to be his launcher. I guess so, cool. Rolling around at the speed of sound. We've got places to go. <laughs> I'm Mr. Incredible. Live and let die. The silly belt breaking. Well, that there's there's a level one or two. I don't know how much of that it took out of my meter. Well, uppercut. Oh damn. That too. I always, as much as I love Marvel's Capcom style characters. A lot of times when I do like a back, down back, or down forward circle thing, they always freaking super jump, and it's annoying. Alright, here's another soup, never mind. Doesn't have any way to gain meter except for beating ass. Just the way Mr. Incredible is meant to do. I, I don't even think he has a throw. But um, at least he has a read me. <laughs> That's all I'll say, he, he has a read me. Every superhero has a secret identity. I don't know a single one who doesn't. You, you talk too much, Mr. Incredible. Oh my god. It's a battle of Warner characters. Just edited Warner characters, I should say. People will take uh, Warner characters and make them slightly better. Sometimes. There we go. Damn it. Mm, burger. Okay, cool. There we go. Here's another level or super. Took all my meter for some reason. Don't know why. I don't know why he has a Sonic the Hedgehog move. But, you know what? I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. It's Mr. Incredible, damn it. In fact, I've played through the entirety. <laughs> not really the entirety, but I did a playthrough of a, an underrated Incredibles game, in my opinion, is the GBA version. And I have a complete playthrough of that. Oh, all that. That doesn't work. That's. I'm guessing that's a level 3 or a level 2. Let's see. Yep, all of his supers are level 2s. Okay. Or so it feels like. But then again, that might be a leftover coding from uh, the, uh, the edit there when they edited it from Warner's character or whoever they edited this from. Need a lift. 
Oh, wow. So, uh, we beat Homer and Marge is like, don't beat up my husband. So, uh, how about, how about, how about we talk about the Incredibles? You know, all of his, all of his supers are level two. Why? I, I, I actually like both movies very, very much, so. It's kind of funny, though, that the second movie is essentially the same as the first movie. It's just, uh... Oh, wow, that damage did barely anything, but... It's just... Uh, what do you call that? What was I saying? Oh, the second movie's just about, like, the same as the first one. The only difference is, um... It's more about the mother being the hero for hire instead of... You know, the father. It's not, it's not too much like the original. But, um... I really hope they do make a part two. Did they announce they were making a part three? Would it take them like 13 years to make a part two? Why? Why? Because they were in like development hell or something? Punch this broad! Or do the Sonic! Rolling around! Well, that was a level three, so uh, <laughs> all my supers cost either two meters or more. <laughs> Oh, uppercut! Jumping uppercut! Ow! Kinda wish he had a throw, but... Doesn't feel like he does. Damn it, Marge. I mean, who wants the pressure of being super all the time? Am I right? <laughs> just going... Just going through all the Warner characters, minus Scarlet Jr. there. But you know what? This is what I, like I said, sometimes videos like this do tremendously on the channel. Oh yeah, nice. Nice beat down. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even want to do this one. I wanted to do the, um, what do you call there? The earthquake. Okay, uh, Leela. There's nothing else I can say about The Incredibles. They're just two really good movies. Go out and see them. Go watch them. You'll love them. You'll love them for being copycat, like, knockoffs of the Fantastic Four and stuff like that. I can't say that. But, um, Syndrome is amazing. I love Syndrome. He's, he's just, he's just a really great villain. Oh, I, I was like to say, I thought I found an exploit. Okay. Yeah! You bitch. How dare you. I'm a breaker. A breaker in half! Wasn't Mr. Yeah, Mr. Incredible was also in a fan game. Uh, anybody remember the original Super Smash Flash? <laughs> Mr. Incredible was a character in that. People got so mad, too, that the person added Mr. Incredible to that. I was like, no, that's actually kind of neat. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Also, the Incredibles have uh, some really fun dialogue. What was it there where he uh, saved that guy from jumping to his death? He says, like, I think you broke my neck. And, well, what years of therapy or something? You'll thank me. Something like that. But um, I just love, also, spoilers for a movie that's, I think, 20 years old now. Yeah. <laughs> My client didn't ask to be saved. My client didn't want to be saved. Mr. Incredible acted out on his own free will. Hey, hey, I saved your life. You didn't save my life. You ruined my death. <laughs> I love that quote. And the fact that the entire train got, like, whiplash and broken neck, so they all sued Mr. Incredible. <laughs> it's so stupid and silly, but it's great. Uh... And the fact that this old superhero, granted he got fat, but he's still huge, has this desk job. Because, uh, it's time for their secret identity to be their only identity, you know? <laughs> yeah, the Incredibles, the Incredibles are great. We're superheroes. What could happen? <laughs> Yo, this, this! Actually, you can do this in uh, Disney Infinity 2.0. <laughs> At 3.0. <laughs> Spoilers, one day I will get to those games. I actually own all the Disney Infinity figures except for six. 
Those are the six crystal ones. But I, I don't own all the power discs. Wow, what the hell? Blanca Ball? Spider-Man just dodging it all. Man. I have Spider-Man 2. And, um... I just haven't had the time to play it. Man, I, I have so many games that I just haven't had time to play because of real life. Stuff like that, like work and everything. And maybe someday I'll do them as like a blind play. Like I have God of War Ragnarok sitting right next to me. Unopened. Untouched. Resident Evil 4 Remake came out this year. And that's one of my favorite res... Actually, it's my favorite Resident Evil, and I haven't even had the chance to touch the remake yet. You know how hard it is to avoid spoilers? <laughs> also, I just... I just beat Sonic Frontiers and now working on the free DLC they, uh... uh what was it, released in, like, what, September? I'm just now playing that in, like, late November here. Actually, this is early November. <laughs> Same thing goes for, um... Tears of the Kingdom. I only beat, like, three of the, um, main tower stories in that. Too many games came out this year. <laughs> Too many. Cyber Akuma! Look at that. We may see that one day, a Marvel and the Incredibles crossover. But, did you know... Disney's first Marvel and Disney crossover. Can you guess what it was? If you guessed Phineas and Verb saved the Marvel superheroes, yes, you'd be correct. That was Disney's first crossover with Marvel that they did. At least I think it was, but yeah, it was Phineas and Verb saving like the Avengers. It was Hulk, Iron Man, Thor. I think Spider-Man was thrown in there because, you know, Disney knows Spider-Man is money and they want Spider-Man, like, 100% of the royalties for Spider-Man. Alright. They, they even did in that in that little special, they did the, um, that Avengers, uh, when they're all standing in a circle and it does the camera pan. Uh, it's a fun special. What's his name, uh... Which is funny, I know nothing much about Phineas and Ferb, but what's his name? Dr. Schmoofshim, Smashenberg, or whatever. Makes a weapon that accidentally take the powers away from the superheroes. And who was it? Red Skull. That's all I remember is Red Skull. And a couple other bad guys. <laughs> Find him and think he's the greatest supervillain of all time. <laughs> uh, sorry for rambling on, but... That was Mr. Incredible. Marvel vs. Capcom, Mr. Incredible. That was fun. That was fun. A little janky. Like all edited Marvel vs. Capcom characters. You're not going to find a perfect... Actually, you might. Because, um... Shoutouts to the guy. I think his name is Kamikaze? He's the guy that did... Where is he on here? If I can find him. There he is. He did this character. And he also did, I believe, the... TMNT Cross Justice League game, or one of the people on that game. He makes some really good Marvel vs. Capcom 2 characters for Mugen. Anyway, Mr. Incredible is in the books. Next up, I actually did him a couple years ago, but we're doing a different version. Pac-Man! My name is Clinker Roth. I thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for Pac-Man! <laughs>